Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today I have a special edition of my weekly Blu-ray hunt videos. This week, we'll be doing a haul. I apologize, I don't actually have a Blu-ray hunt to give you all. I've been super busy all over the place, and I looked up what was coming out this week. There was nothing that really caught my eye. I I did like Life of the Party more than a lot of other people, but that's definitely like a Black Friday sale type of movie for me. I also love The Writer, but all I could find it was on DVD, so I'm going to keep kind of searching around for that one. Maybe that'll be in a hunt to see coming up. But I wanted to come on and obviously give away that code for E.T. from last week's video. And I do want to say... Isle of Dogs, if you were the winner for Isle of Dogs, this week, put in the comment section down below where the best place for me to get that code to you is. Because if I don't hear from the winner by next week's video, it's going back up on the giveaway box. So, winner of Isle of Dogs, make sure you contact me down below. And if I missed your comment before somehow, or I missed the communication, Call me out. Let me know. Uh, it's not malicious. I just might have missed it. But I want to get you that code if you still want it. Otherwise, we're going to get it to somebody who does want it. So today, we're going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing a haul with you that I got from Amazon and Hot Topic. They're movie and nerd related. So we're going to have some fun there. But of course, before we get to that, let's go ahead and pick our winner for the ET digital code. Okay, so as you see, we have our beloved random name picker. I'm also doing this uh, drawing in a different place in my room where I normally film videos. So, sorry for the glare, but you all are there so you can see all of your names. And let's go ahead and draw the winner for the ET digital code. All right, we have Choni Forever. So you are this week's winner for E.T. So congratulations again, Choni Forever. Make sure that you comment down below the best place for me to send that to you, if it's via Twitter DMs or Instagram DMs or email. One of those three works great, and I'll get that code over to you as soon as you let me know in this video's comment section. Now on to the haul part of this video. We're going to kick this off with my Amazon haul because my Amazon haul is the one that includes movies and that's what everybody's here for, right? Movies. So upon evaluation of my personal Blu-ray and DVD collection, I realized a couple of notable omissions that I quite frankly just love. The first one is a classic and that is To Kill a Mockingbird. This is definitely one of my favorite classic films. And spoiler alert, a couple of other awesome YouTuber friends of mine have been doing their top 100 favorite films of all time. And I'm really hoping to make that a series here on my channel once I'm able to get my act together. And there's a good chance this one will be somewhere on that list. So, To Kill a Mockingbird. Have y'all seen it? If not, definitely watch it, first of all. And do you all love this classic like I do? And then the other film I got from Amazon, Serial Mom, starring Kathleen Turner from John Waters. I absolutely adore this film. I think it is so funny, so amazing. It is everything I need from a John Waters film. And Kathleen Turner is just killing it. Ricky Lake is great. Everybody is just wonderful in this movie. Matthew Lillard is in here. I just met him at uh, Ace Comic Con earlier in the year. So a super fun movie. Again, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend this movie. It is such a good time. I'm so excited to actually revisit this because it's been a while since I've actually watched either one of these. So let me know your thoughts on these two movies. Unfortunately, I couldn't find them in Blu-ray, so I went with DVDs on both. And neither one of them have a digital code. So, sorry, there's no actual giveaway for this week. Promise that'll be back next week, though. I also picked up this little Wasp keychain Funko Pop. So for characters like the Wasp and a few other characters I have in my collection, I like to get these little keychains because I think she's actually freaking awesome and looks so cool. But maybe they're not on, like, 
big Funko level. So, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I've known I've been wanting this one, so I ordered it off of Amazon, and then in order to get that $25 free shipping order, I went ahead and picked up Mulan as well. So the latest Disney princess in these little tiny ones I have. I also have Belle and I have Jasmine. So now we have Mulan. And we're going to keep that trend going. I also received a Hot Topic order recently in which I got a few fun things. And this one I got before so they're already opened and I already took off the keychain because I like to put them up. We're going to keep it Disney with this adorable little Dumbo. Elephants are my fave animals and Dumbo is one of the cutest Disney characters ever. If not the cutest. He's just so cute. Um, and I just love this little guy. I think he is adorable and I just had to have him. And then we have Pennywise with the wig. I had wanted the large Funko version of this Pennywise ever since it was released. It was a Walmart exclusive and I never could find it. So when I saw that they were releasing this little one, I had to have him. And here he is. I just thought this scene in the trailer actually was really funny. And the scene is so iconic. So there he is, Pennywise with his luxurious wig blowing in the wind. And then finally, I also got Blue from the Jurassic World movies. I actually really like that they've developed Blue as her own character. I obviously love animals, and I love when animals get to be their own little characters. So she's probably my favorite part of these new Jurassic World movies. I've also been tempted by that Target exclusive of Chris Pratt's character holding, like, little tiny baby Blue. But for now, I saw the keychain and thought, I gotta have it. And then tonight, like right after I finish filming this video, I'm actually going to the Panic at the Disco concert. I'm a huge Panic at the Disco fan. Love Brendan Urie. So the final part to my Hot Topic purchase was this new Panic at the Disco shirt. It is the cover, basically, of their latest album, Pray for the Wicked. And I just think it's such a cool album art that I, obviously, I had to have it. So I'm not wearing this tonight because I think other people are going to be wearing this shirt or stuff with this design on it. I gotta stand out just a little bit, right? But I'm going to definitely be wearing this actually in an upcoming video that I know some people have really been waiting for that has to do with Wicked Ways. Yeah, are there any other Panic in the Disco fans that watch my videos? I know there are plenty of other fans out there, but does anyone else think Brendan Yuri is just bagels? Because he is. So that is my Amazon and Hot Topic haul, as well as the announcement for the winner of the ET Digital Code. Once again, I'm sorry there are no codes for this week's video. But I'm 100% positive next week I'll be picking up a steelbook. So make sure to come back next week for your chance to win in my next digital code giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you are always eligible for the digital code giveaways. And so you never miss one of my latest videos. Also hit like down below and join in on the discussion what did you think of this little haul video let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on twitter i love you all so much for your support Mwah! thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye